Well, hello there and welcome back to my channel and to another episode of my sunscreen review series. In today's video, we're going to be talking all about the Australian Gold Botanical Mineral Sunscreen. But before we get into it, I would love it if you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and also hit the notification bell. That way you never miss when I upload. And now, if you're new to my series, I started this series because I was looking for the perfect everyday sunscreen. And for me, what constitutes a perfect everyday sunscreen is one that doesn't break me out, wears well under makeup, and doesn't leave a white cast. Now for this video, it's actually a first impression, so I won't be able to let you know if it makes me break out, but I will update in the comment section when I figure out how it works with my skin. Now before we get into the demo, I wanna give you guys some information on the product. Like I said, it's by Australian Gold. It is the Botanical Sunscreen Tinted Face SPF 50 with a broad spectrum protection. It is a mineral sunscreen with titanium dioxide and zinc oxide as the ingredients, as the, as the main sunscreen ingredients. It describes itself as hypoallergenic, oxybenzone free, fragrance free, phthalate free, reef friendly, and also free from animal testing. And it is also vegan. I picked this up from Amazon for about $13, but you can also find it at Walmart and Target. As far as the claims for the finish goes, it says it's lightweight and a matte finish. So I'm really curious to see how this ends up looking on my skin. All right, now we've got all the info out of the way. I'm gonna bring you guys in closer so you can see the demo. And here it is. Um, you Oh, I forgot to mention earlier, you get three fluid ounces. Now, because it's tinted, like, I almost feel weird applying this, you know, like a sunscreen because it's a it's a BB cream sunscreen, but I'm going to apply it just like I normally apply the sunscreens on my channel. I'm going to start out with that much. So already you can see the tint there. It looks like it's going to match my skin decently, but it also looks like it has a kind of a gray undertone. has an interesting smell. Hmm. Yeah, I'm definitely seeing that gray undertone there. Mm. Texture-wise, it feels very interesting. It feels creamy. Like it feels like a mousse foundation. Hmm. Not gonna lie, this this color is strange. It's Yeah, what do you guys think? I mean, all things considered, it's better than a white cast like I feel like this is gonna be a little bit easier to adjust but at the same time it like it has so much of a tint that it feels like I'm gonna have to work pretty hard to cover up the weirdness of the shade here uh, texture wise I do like it. it also said it has a matte finish but looked pretty glowy to me I do have regular moisturizer underneath all right Get my ears. all right here is what we are looking like Yeah, I'm not crazy about the color. I do like the texture. I think it looks nice. I like the fact that it has a nice glow to it, but I don't know, I'm gonna get even closer so you guys can see. So like I said, smell was a little bit weird, but nothing overpowering. I don't know what it is. Like crayons? Something like that. Something school supply-ish. Um, like I said, I like the texture. Smells a little bit weird. Color's a little bit weird. And also, I know that some of you might be thinking like, oh, you should have gotten the next shade in the middle. It was way too light. Way too light. So they could definitely work in their shade range. And just this, I think, if it were just a little bit warmer and not so gray, it 
I would probably be able to use this as an actual just complexion product, just throw on a little bit of concealer, but I'm not comfortable with going out like this without covering my whole face. So I'm going to go ahead and do my makeup and then I'll come back to show you guys how it looks. All right, I am back. And wow. Okay. Like my makeup came out bomb today. Like let's just for a second. Okay. So I wanted to start out up, up close because I wanted to show you guys how perfected my skin looks with the BB cream along with the foundation I put on top of it. So I used the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear in the shade Toffee. Typically this foundation on my skin does go satin matte. Um, I kind of wish I went in a more luminous direction. I chose this foundation because I wanted to make sure I covered up the, um, the difference in the shade and it did a really good job of doing that and I think also took the tones that do match my skin and just worked well. I, I just I think I did a really good job in picking a foundation to wear on top of this in terms of actual meshing with the shade. Now, I do have dry skin. So despite how pretty the base is looking, I don't really like how it feels. The matte BB cream mixed with the semi-matte foundation is feeling a little bit dry and tight on my face. And I really, really want to spray some setting spray, but I didn't do that because I wanted you guys to see exactly how everything looks together. The only thing I powdered on my face is my under eyes. My bronzer is a cream bronzer. Um, I, I didn't powder all over the face because I just wanted you guys to see how matte it ended up looking. And I will also insert a photo of what the sunscreen looked like right before I put on my makeup because right when I um, talked to you guys last, it was still looking really dewy, but just a few minutes later, it went completely matte. I was very shocked by that. So that's definitely a claim that I can stand by when it comes to this sunscreen. Lightweight, uh, it definitely didn't doesn't feel heavy. Um, I mean, I do have another foundation on top of it, but even before I put that foundation on, I could feel it. You know, it's not like it was weightless, but definitely not the heaviest thing that I've put on my face. I think also mentally, because it's tinted, I just feel like it's heavier on my face than I would feel if it was a just a regular sunscreen that wasn't tinted. All right, so now that you guys have gotten a good look at what everything looks like up close, I'm gonna go ahead and zoom out and give you my final thoughts. When it comes to this sunscreen, this Australian gold mineral sunscreen, I go back and forth. Before I put my makeup on, I was really unhappy with the way that the shade looked on my skin. I was disappointed in the fact that I can't really wear this alone without any other products. Also, once it dried down completely matte, I was a little bit concerned because I do have dry skin. Now that I have makeup on and I can see how everything looks, it does affect my opinion because, I mean, undeniably, I think that my makeup turned out great. And while normally I would say that the sunscreens that I use don't affect my makeup too much, this one definitely, I think, added to how nice my makeup looks today. I think the BB cream created a beautiful canvas for the foundation, which is why it is sitting on the skin so well. Although I do think that this may be a better combo for someone who has normal to oily skin. For me, um, the way that I will be using this in the future is I will still continue to use it with a more medium to full coverage foundation. I don't feel comfortable wearing this alone with just concealer and I don't even really feel comfortable wearing it with a skin tint or like a tinted moisturizer type situation. But because of how well it smoothed the skin out and because of how beautiful it looked under foundation, I will try this out with a luminous full coverage or medium coverage foundation. So a good example would be the Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation. I think that on my dry skin, it'll pair really well. Still give me that beautiful base that I'm looking for, but it won't feel so dry and tight on my skin. And there's also the simple fact that setting spray might help with that. So actually, let me go ahead and do some setting spray. Right, I'm using the Makeup Revolution Super Hold Misting Spray. Now this setting spray doesn't change the actual finish of your foundation, but it does have aloe and glycerin in it, which are great for hydrating dry skin. So I don't know guys, I think I'm just gonna leave it at that, that I have mixed feelings about this. Um, my biggest complaint is the shade. So Australian Gold, please release more shades of this. Be a little bit more nuanced as far as the undertones go. I mean, the, the gray undertone there was killing me, but it obviously wasn't so bad that I couldn't work with it. Editing me here, I actually just wanted to jump in and say that I also would like to see them put out a version that doesn't have a matte finish, whether that be more of a in-between finish or a more dewy or glowy finish. I think a lot of people would really like that. But for the price, being a mineral sunscreen, especially if you can't use chemical sunscreens, 
I think it's doing its job. I think it's doing its job. Um, something that I may do, maybe, is buy the shade below it and mix it together and see if that works a little bit better with my skin. Um, it would be worth it because even buying two of these sunscreens is still not going to be as much as like my super goop glow screen. So I'm very curious to know what your guys' thoughts on this product is now that you've seen me put it on and also if you've ever tried it yourself. So please comment down below and let me know what you're thinking. And this was also a recommendation from a subscriber. So thank you so much for recommending this product for me to try. And please let me know if any of you have any other sunscreens that you'd like me to try out on my channel. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm going to go ahead and enjoy my good makeup day and I will see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>